Innovation stand part of the schedule? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Dr Mr. Wayne Chairman, Lamb. I should say. Mr Chairman, thanks for the opportunity to speak on this issue. And the, can I also say that the Select Committee uh, has dealt with this issue very well as well. They noted the various initiatives that have been undertaken over the last two years. And it's such a contrast, isn't it? When you listen to the House and you listen to uh, Mr Shearer recycle failed policies of the past. So Labor's going to go into this election as their big commitment on science and innovation, bringing out a failed policy on a tax credit. Anyone can get it. Great time for lawyers, great time for accountants. Probably won't do much, actually, for science and innovation. You know how they're going to pay for this? They're going to sock one of New Zealand's most productive sectors, the primary sector, by bringing them into the ETS two years early, two years earlier than 2015. So we would be the only country on the planet that would kneecap our most productive sector in this way. That's Labor's approach. That's actually also another failed policy of the past because that's what they committed to do in 2008. You know, one would hope after three years in opposition they could spend just a little bit more time thinking of future policy rather than just resurrecting past policy. We put some common sense into that and said 2015. Mr Chairman, I wanted to speak briefly about what we have actually done and the springboard that it provides actually for the future. And there's been a variety of things, and I just want to focus on three particular things. First, the CRI task force. Second, the establishment of the Ministry of Science and Innovation. And thirdly, business support. When, when I became the Minister some two and a half years ago, it was obvious the CRIs were in difficulty. There was a continuous complaint, if you will, from the sector that they were simply buried in compliance costs, using a huge amount of time to complete applications and so forth. The OECD had also seen this and made a clear recommendation. Sustainable, long-term funding that would provide a strategic focus. And we put together, the government put together a CRI task force and this was one of their primary recommendations and can I say, Mr Chairman, that we have now implemented the CRI task force, largely picked up the OECD recommendations, ignored by the previous government, and have put the CRIs on fundamentally a better footing to build capability. Second thing I said is pulling together the, the, the government system into the Ministry of Science and Innovation, primarily about changing the culture of the organisation and providing a more strategic approach. And I do note that the uh, Select Committee, unanimously on this instance, has seen this as an important shift in emphasis. And I've heard uh, Mr Shearer himself actually state that this is a, an important an, uh, initiative. The, import, the significance of the strategic approach should not be underestimated, because I inherited a system that was highly fractionated, highly disorganised. And now we have one that is fundamentally more integrated, that connects science more effectively to business. And that leads me to the third point, the programme that the government has to back New Zealand businesses. And over four years, we're putting over $200 million into that. Uh, by next year, in fact, it'll be $80 million. And yes, it does require a ranking, if you will, of the most capable organisation uh, businesses in New Zealand. And then the grant is made on the basis, as a percentage actually, of their R&D expend, 20 per cent. Actually, pretty low compliance costs ensures the money goes to the companies that have got the deepest and most effective capability and, indeed, the best record in exports. I would have thought that was something that the opposition would have applauded, because it's forward-looking, not backward-looking. And that is, I guess, one of the fundamental differences between the, the national government and the previous government is that we are concentrating continuously on doing the things that will drive our economy up 
and you've seen science expenditure go up, and the, the other side, backward-looking solutions, failed solutions from the past. Members, the question is that both science and innovation stand part of the schedule. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. Aye. The ayes have it. The question now is that vote communications stand part of the schedule. Mr Chair. The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Chair, uh, just very keen to take a call briefly to...